Good morning, guys. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. It's currently 3.55 a.m. About to leave for clinical. Um, but I wanted to start the vlog today because it's going to be an exciting day. We have a lot of projects going on this evening. But first, I have to get this 12-hour clinical over and drive two hours there, two hours back. So... Let's get started. And also, yes, I am completely aware that there's clothes on the table back there that needs to be folded and put away. Um, I have a lot of stuff to clean at the moment, um, but just because like the past couple weeks has been super, super busy for me. So yeah, we have a lot of projects going on. We're going to clean the house up this evening. I have to get going because I'm probably going to stop and get breakfast um, about an hour from here. So let's go. 3.57, I'm so tired. <sighs> About to leave. I did clean up the living room for the most part yesterday. Um, so it's pretty good, but still have to pick up a little this evening. So yeah, I gotta get going. Sorry guys, it's been a couple days, but we got our curtains up. I went, um, I went with these from Walmart and they have this really pretty design on them. Um, however, I think I may need like one or two more panels in between there. Um, so we put it on this window and two other windows that we have, but I really like this design in here. So yeah, there's that one over there and then this one here and then one more in here. I have to fold these clothes. They just came out of the dryer, but there's also this one in here, but it's kind of kind of got slid over because Bailey's been in here but yeah these are super cute I really like them uh, I just think we need a few more um, like panels to fill in the gaps we grilled out today so all that's in there and I actually cleaned in here the other day and I put this shelf in here it just looks like that it's kind of a mess we have a ton of laundry to do but I wanted to show you guys that because I'm pretty excited. I cleaned like all this stuff up that was in here and put this shelf up. And yes, I have pajamas on. We have been just being comfy all day long and just kind of chilling all day. So I've literally been looking like this all day. We've been laying around. Um, I need a shower. I need to get to work because I do have a test in the morning that I need to study for. So I need to do that and I have an assignment due tonight as well. Hey guys, so it is currently Monday evening right now. It's 8.37 p.m. Trying to get in the bed early tonight because I do have clinical in the morning and I get up around 2.30 to go to that because I do have to drive two hours. If you guys watched like my last vlog, I think it was, then I kind of explained all of that. You should go check out that video if you haven't already. Um, but I will try to vlog my day tomorrow as well. I think the last thing that I showed was like the curtains and stuff. So I'm just super all over the place in this vlog. Um, but I wanted to share a few things with you guys. So today is Monday. I had a test this morning and then I went to work after that. I didn't really vlog any of that just because I was kind of like in a hurry and I had Bailey this morning all over the place. So um, I didn't really vlog any of that. But this evening I have just kind of been trying to focus on myself and my goals and stuff so I actually made a note in my phone and it's called dreams and life goals you can also do this with a Pinterest board but basically the goal of this is to replace like any negativity that you have with a goal or a dream um, that you have for yourself or for your life or whatever um, so on mine I have one month goals five month goals one year goals and five year goals and um, honestly it just has me so motivated and so excited for just life in general so I highly recommend doing that um, so I wanted to mention that but I'm going to try to go lay down and go to bed soon so good night I'll see you guys in the morning so I'll also wanted to mention this but my laptop stickers are from Redbubble. I get a lot of questions on those. Um, I'll try to link like the website down below but it's just Redbubble and they have really cute stuff. Um, I actually need to get new ones because most of these are pretty faded now um, and some like Bailey has taken off. <laughs> so yeah I really want to get new ones super soon but um, yeah and then my stethoscope is from Amazon and it's super cute it has the like rainbow finish on this part really like it I was thinking about lighting a candle before I went to bed but I should probably just go lay down because it's getting pretty late it's 8 40 I need to get in the bed so good night
So I'm gonna have some blueberry bagel <laughs> and uh, blueberry cream cheese. I'm not really that hungry since it's literally not even three right now. But I know that I will get really hungry later if I don't at least try to eat like a little bit of something. So I'm gonna have this. If you guys have been watching for a while, you know I used to have this like literally every morning, but it's been a while, so pretty excited. And for my coffee, doing the oat milk, oat milk cookie creamer, and fat free whipped cream. You guys, this is it. Y'all need to try this. Good morning, guys. So, it is currently 3.56 a.m. About to leave. I usually try to leave here by 4. Um, I'm going to really quick gather, like, some water and a couple other drinks to take with me. Maybe a couple snacks. And then I'm going to go ahead and leave. I'm really excited for today. I hope that it's a good day. I, I think that I am in the ER today. So, that'll be super fun. Um really tired because I literally couldn't go to sleep last night and then I finally did it was like almost 11 again which always happens to me but uh, to be honest I kind of had something on my mind um, I have been like looking at apartments in New York which is like a goal like a dream that is way down the road but um, I've just been looking and I don't know, I just got really excited about it. And then I started watching a ton of like New York City move-in vlogs. Um, but I think if we ever did like get an apartment in New York, it wouldn't be like full-time. It would be probably like a week out of the month. I don't know. I honestly have no idea, but I just really want, um, to go to New York like all the time. I'm just obsessed. And I know right now obviously isn't the time, so it's really far off it's a really far off dream but I just couldn't get it off my mind and I just kept watching YouTube videos about it and so here we was 11 p.m. and still up so yeah but it's 3:58 right now and I'm going to get my stuff together and leave um, I don't wear um, like foundation to clinicals I mean like normally I would but where we have to wear a mask like it rubs off really really easy and it's just really bad so I just like do eyebrows mascara and that's it a moisturizer so my skin gets super oily throughout the day <sighs> but yeah let's get our day started so I think I'm gonna get something at the cafe they have today but I am taking some trail mix and string cheese just like if I get hungry during the day um, a Sprout Zero. Um, they didn't have any bang when I went to get some, so I got this rain one. And I really don't think I've ever tried this, but I guess we'll see if I drink it or not. Um, taking this water, and then just in case, I'm taking this energy shot because I am running on like no energy today. So, gonna stick all this in my bag and head out the door. You guys, literally, my favorite part of this drive is I get to watch the sunrise every time. So I just made it to the hospital. It is currently 6 a.m. But I just wanted to talk for a second. Um, also, if you guys were wondering, these are my med surge clinicals. But actually today, I believe I'm going to be in the ER. So super excited for that. But I wanted to chat kind of like what I was talking about this morning about the New York thing. So I feel like I just keep wanting more um, in my life. Like I just, I don't want to settle and I want to like be happy and do something I really, really love. So I was like thinking like when I had my RN maybe I could work like a PRN job in New York like at a hospital and have a part-time apartment there but as far as realistically I don't know how realistic that is because of money and New York is just so expensive in general um, and also I feel like part of me like wants to do that and like 
I feel like it would be fun. It would be fine. But another part of me is like, I can't really live two separate lives. Um, like one in Virginia, one in New York. That's just not really possible, especially money wise, because I would be getting flights like multiple times, um, a month or a year or whatever. Um, so I've just really been thinking on it and I have like a two hour drive here. So I've had a lot of time to like think about that and as fun as it seems I just don't know how realistic that is also all of our family is in Virginia so it would just be really hard but I wanted to talk about that for a second because I feel like I try to stay positive and like just set goals and dreams for myself but at the same time I have to stay realistic and I just don't know how realistic that would be so it's just been really hard um just kind of like thinking about it and I've been looking at apartments but obviously that's something that would be really far off um even if it would be a realistic thing so yeah that's just kind of where I'm at I'm just gonna chill for a few minutes and then head inside for my clinical I'm also just like super tired today and I'm just ready to go home already. Um, I just haven't been getting much sleep and it's really starting to catch up with me. So yeah, I'm just waiting on my friends and then we're gonna walk inside. Boy, do I have a story to tell you guys. So today was literally the most crazy day like I've ever had. Um, so like I was saying this morning, I had ER clinicals today. So long story short, I ended up being admitted as a patient in the ER. Um, so like everything was fine. Um, we done like the whole morning, worked in the ER. And then like lunchtime came around, it was probably around 12 and we sat down to eat. And all of a sudden, my heart started beating really fast. I like couldn't hardly breathe. Um, I just felt like a huge like pressure on my chest kind of. So it was really weird, but I don't know if you guys know this or not, but I actually had heart issues when I was younger. So basically they admitted me with supraventricular tachycardia. Um, and also sinus tachycardia. So they um, admitted me in the ER, done an EKG. Um, at this point, my heart rate was around 130 and it was kind of fluctuating back and forth. It would go 80s to 90s and then back to like 120s and then like 110s, stuff like that. It was kind of crazy. So they um, put an IV in, gave me some fluids. Um, I done some vagal maneuvers, which is like blowing through a straw with one end closed, um, like holding your breath or um, bearing down, I guess they would call it. Um, so we done that. We done like all kinds of stuff like that. They massaged my carotid. So nothing would really keep it down. So they kind of veered away from supraventricular tachycardia because a lot of times vagal maneuvers will just make the rhythm go back to normal um, when you do those vagal maneuvers. So long story short, after like two hours, um, it kind of just went back to normal and I started feeling a lot better. So they discharged me and then I went back to do my clinicals. So it was a really super crazy day, um, but I got to see a lot of stuff in the ER and then I got to experience being an ER patient there. Um, so yeah, it was just a really crazy day overall. I wanted to tell you guys that story because it's just kind of crazy and ironic that I had an ER clinical today and then ended up being admitted in the ER. So wanted to share that story kind of crazy I don't even I don't even know what else to say um, I did have these heart issues when I was younger but I had a procedure to fix it and I haven't had these episodes in a long time so it was really really weird that it happened um, but it was kind of cool to see like all the hands-on stuff they got some blood work um, done an EKG done a chest x-ray stuff like that so it was really crazy and also shout out to my friend Haley she pretty much stayed with me the whole time and was just there to like do anything I needed. So um, it ended up being a really good day even despite the fact that I was admitted to the ER. But I wanted to share that story because it's just kind of crazy. But yeah. So I showered right now watching uh, Natalie Barbu. You can't even see the TV. But just going to kind of chill for most of the evening just because I've been through so much today honestly. So yeah, I may try to do some uh, homework and stuff later, but for now, I'm just gonna take it easy, relax on the couch. Yeah. 
So I wanted to share some blue light glasses and sunglasses with you guys. So Sohos actually sent me these. I believe it's how you pronounce it. It's S-O-J-O-S. -O um, but yeah, it's super cute. They come in like these boxes like this. And then the sunglasses actually come with these cute cases that you can put in your purse, your car, or whatever, so it doesn't get broke. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys a few pairs that they sent me. So the blue light glasses look like this. They're super cute. I'm really excited to use these for like studying tonight and stuff because I probably will study later on tonight. Um, and then they sent me a couple pairs of sunglasses. I actually sent another pair of blue light glasses. I have to go find those um, because I've been wearing them. But the sunglasses are also really, really cute. Super excited to wear these um, this weekend when we go to the lake. Um, yeah, I just think they're so cute. I'm seriously in love. So that's those. And then um, here is the other pair of sunglasses. They kind of look similar, but not. Um, so yeah, I really like those as well. Um, so if you guys want to pick out some sunglasses or bullet glasses, then be sure to click the link down below and use code MADISON15 for 15% 15 off your purchase. Um, I really love these. They are um, really like, I would say dainty sunglasses. They're not like super huge and bulky but they're like small and dainty but still like oversized in the lens which i think is super cute and um it just keeps you cool so you don't have like a big thick pair of sunglasses weighing you down all summer making you sweat um so i really like those and these blue these blue light glasses are so cute um so yeah click the link down below and pick up pick you out a pair and use my code madison15 they're so cute. I'm so excited to wear them this weekend. I love both of these sunglasses and then these blue light glasses. I need to go find the other pair. Um, I need to go grab it. But yeah, I really, really love these. Use my code at Madison15 down below. Um, I'll have them linked as well. Super cute. And affordable also. So all together, a great deal. <laughs> I don't know what it is about these, but they're just so cute. <laughs> so excited for these um yeah like i said use my code madison15 if you want to get a pair i just i just think they're so cute and like small um so yeah this other pair was literally laying right over there and i don't even know how i missed that so yeah i got these two pairs of blue light glasses and then these two pairs of sunglasses i seriously love them all gonna try these on to show you what they look like this last pair they were literally laying right there i thought they were in there but anyway so here's the black just run out of storage but yeah these are super super cute they're kind of like these i actually don't know if i got the same kind or not but these are black and these are like more of a, like a light brown color but i think they're super cute and these are probably one of my favorite pairs so so excited here's the back ones the back ones the black ones super cute 